Alright guys, on this video, pag-uusapan natin tong bagong bush na to men. Bagong map yan guys. At ang pagbabalik ng kaibigan natin ni Polio, as you can see my friends, kinangin na may Pokemon na naman tayo bro. So weird. <laughs> At marami pang iba guys dito sa patch notes 1.5.54. <laughs> Alright guys, mag-start tayo kay Beatrix. So, pinataas ni Monton yung damage ng sniper weapon ni Beatrix, man. As you dito, damage 300% of physical attack to 180 plus 360. Sobrang taas ng buff na yun. Man. Sobrang hapdi, guys. Grabe. Tapos, binuff din ni Monton yung shotgun ni Beatrix, guys. As you can dito, damage 100% of physical attack. 260 plus 120 of physical attack oh my god man sobrang laki ng buff na yan guys lalo na kapag nagle-level yung hero mo man uh, alright guys next is ang rocket launcher ni Beatrix which is ang Bennett which is yung damage is binuff nila 180% of physical attack ginawang 90 plus 180 na men kaso yung area effect is slightly reduced so ninerf yung ano guys yung area of effect ng skill Alright guys, another buff para sa basic attack niya na Nibiru. As you see ito, that is 40% of physical attack lang. Ngayon, 20 plus 40% men. So, ang laking buff niyan guys. Lalo na kapag ina-add nyo ng item tong hero na to men. Wow! So, para sa rebuff, Argos adjust guys. As you see dito, binap ni Moonton yung physical attack damage bonus sa first enchant attacks. Pero, sinabagal ng konti lang naman. Tapos yung physical attack bonus for HP Legend, binakin nila from 15 to 20%. And another adjust guys, para kay Mage Bane. As you can see dito, ni-nerf ni Monton yung cooldown niya, medyo pinataas ng konti, pero may bagong effect. Nare-reduce yung cooldown niya guys, every ano, each point of physical damage dealt daw. What the fuck? So, feeling mag very low cooldown to men. Next buff is para kay Aurora guys at ang sobrang taas ng buff na to. Magic par bonus 130%, 200%, so much more chance na makaka one shot si Aurora ngayon. At another Terizla buff, yung skill to niya guys, pinataas yung damage at yung ultimate kasi yung passive, binaba yung damage reduction. Kaya yung fights na yan eh. Alright guys, next nerf is Brody nerf. Nako, ni nerf na naman ni Mundo si Brody, man. Pinababa nila yung attributes ni Brody, guys. Yung physical attack growth, tapos yung skill to, pinababa yung duration ng stun. Nako, tas yung ultimate din, pastilan. Oh my goodness, guys. Another Benedetta nerf. Kakabili ko pa naman ng starlight nito, man. So as you can see dito, skill 1, pinataas yung cooldown, tapos yung ultimate niya. Pinataas din yung cooldown guys. Ako, wala na masyalong yung bebe ni Neta nito, men. Sayang yung pera natin sa Starlight, men. And sadly, another nerf para naman kay Dragon ng Mobile Legends na si Yuzong. Pinababa nila yung base HP at yung HP growth ni guys. Tapos yung skill tree, pinataas yung cooldown. So, very big nerf. Alright, next nerf is para kay Lapu-Lapu. So, both passive at yung ultimate niya guys, ni nerf. And as you can see dito sa screen, pinababa both of it sa damage. Okay, next guys is Silvana adjust or nerf. So, as you can see dito guys, pinababa yung attributes ni Silvana. From 100 to 80% na lang yung ratio attack speed. Tapos sa passive, medyo pinaf ng konti. And then sa second skill, base shield, pinababa ng konti. Pabor naman ako dito, men, kasi yung ina. Guys, kahit walang item tong Silvana, sobrang tanky nito. As in, gagi. Alright, this is a Yisun Shin nerf, guys. As you see dito yung passive niya, pinababa yung damage. And then yung ultimate niya, removed 
the slow effect. Oh my god, sobrang laking nerf niyan, men. Alright, next is 1-1 nerf, guys. So, ni nerf, ni Monton, yung passive ni 1-1. Yung damage yata dito. So, fix value na ngayon. And sadly, ni nerf din yung uh, skill 1. Damage that. As you can see dito, 100 to 200 to 60 to 120 na lang. Tapos yung ultimate din, nako, pinababa din yung damage. At another nerf again for Esmeralda guys. Sadly, skill 1 niya ngayon, base shield generated 500 to 850 of max. Ngayon, nagiging 400 to 850 of max. King na OP pa rin men. Alright guys, so last here is Moscow buff. So simple lang naman. Binap ulit ni Monton si Moscow from his skill 1. As you can see dito, attack speed increase. 20 to 70%, yun na 1 nilang 40 to 70%. Oh my god, sobrang lakas ng buff na yun, man. I mean, sobrang taas na nga ng attack speed ni Mosko. Pinapataas pa nung first kill pa sa tila. Isa din kasi itong counter ni Fanny. And alright my friends, last but not the least, of course, nagbabalik na yung Ripoyo guys. And if you kill now the Lito Wanderer, may walkie grass na siya ngayon again. So as you can see dito, regenerates allied heroes mana by 1% every seconds guys. So parang ano to, parang buff din to, parang blue. So kapag ma-obtain nyo tong Pokemon na to guys, for 45 seconds, kapag nasa river kayo, 15% yung increase ng movement speed nyo which is really good man parang buff talaga siya men so about sa bush guys nakikita nyo dito may bagong maliit na bush wait lang papatayin muna natin tong blue na to so pupuntahan natin na as you can see dito so may bagong campsite men kapag mag a invade tayo this bush will be really useful to us so may parang campsite na guys let's say na kukuha tayo ng blue pwede magtambay dun yung tank mo para you know mas uh, surprise attack parang ganun so alright so i-check natin sa other side guys kung anong itsura so as you can see dito wow mas nakikita natin yung blue ng kalaban guys habang nakatago tayo safely dito sa mga bush and we plan for a perfect uh, ambush oh, as you can see dito nagulat yung buff wow this is quite a challenge for junglers guys kasi mas often talaga yung pag invade ng kalaban dahil sa bush na yan kasi syempre nakatago diba at alam naman natin maraming heroes gusto magtago sa bush para magkakamp and sadly, items nerf for Queen's Wings, Immortality, at Clock of Destiny. Sad guys, pastilan. 